Jacqueline Cosmetics Bougie Rouge collection. Um, I have almost all of the products from the full collection and I'm excited to show you guys what I got and kind of tell you what I think about everything. Um, I got my eyebrows microbladed yesterday, like less than 24 hours ago. So they are looking a little bit janky, um, but I have to trust the process. They are going to get about two shades lighter. If you guys want a video kind of going through my experience about that, let me know. Um, it was kind of painful. And, uh, but I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how they look in a couple of weeks. So anyway, so Jacqueline Cosmetics just released a blush collection. The first thing I noticed was that she said these were like the best blushes ever, but she just came out with blush and bronzer duos, which I purchased. So which one is it? <laughs> which one's the best one ever? So what I did was um, you could go on her website and you could purchase each product individually, or you could purchase um, one of two bundles. So she had a bundle that included like the cooler toned blush palette and then the warmer tone. So I purchased a bundle of the warmer toned blushes and I just was looking at the selection of like the, the cooler toned palette and I just don't think I'm going to use purple blushes and a lot of them did lean on like that cooler toned purple side. So I went for the warm one. Um, with the bundle I saved about like 10 or 15 bucks so it really wasn't that big of a discount. But um, I will show you guys what was included in that bundle because I didn't get to pick out the individual shades of the products. I really just kind of went by the palette. So let's start with the palette. This is the Rouge Romance palette. This is what the packaging looks like. This is raised um, and it has like this blue floral design um, on there. It feels nice. Um, it feels like a very good quality palette. It, I, I like the packaging. Um, there is a magnetic closure as well. There's a mirror up on the top, and then these are the shades. So you do get six pans of matte blushes. These are all matte blushes. Right now on my cheeks, I'm wearing a mix of Fancy Pants and Pretty Posh here. With my experience using this palette, I've discovered that they're actually not that pigmented. Um, you need to build these up quite a bit. And I find that when I use, especially this shade right here, it barely shows up. I have to go in with several layers of this product, which I don't mind in a blush formula um, because I don't want it to be, you know, crazy and overdone right off the bat. So even like the deeper ones, they, they are pigmented, but they blend out into like a very, a very soft kind of formula. And I thought that this was an interesting selection of shades. You do have like your neutrals here, but you also have like a fiery orange and a very deep kind of like red. Um, I don't know if I'm ever gonna use the red <laughs> or the orange, but the rest of them are neutral enough that I can kind of mix and match. Um, I think that these look really nice on the skin. They blend it out totally fine, but they do just need a little bit of building up. This does retail for $45 if you purchase this on its own. Overall, um, I think $45 is a pretty good price for it, um, just based on the amount of product that you're getting in here. Um, let's see, each blush is, well, total you get 28.8 grams of product. So that's a lot. <laughs> this, you, you'll probably never go through this in your life. There is a lot of product in here. So for $45, I think it's worth it if you're going to kind of use this as your everyday palette. For me, um, I have a lot of blushes, but I am happy that I have this. The next thing that came in the bundle is their loose blush formula. They are called Luminous Rouge Blushes. You get 4.5 grams of product in here. It came with the shade Love Poem, which um, looking at the selection, I don't think that I would have purchased. So this is the packaging. You have this J here, it's raised. Um, I mentioned this in my last review of her blush and bronzer duos. Her packaging can be quite bulky. Um, so it depends on how big your collection is. This is not gonna fit in my blush drawer, it's just not. I mean, look at how big this thing is. So it feels nice. It's got a little bit of a weight to it. When you open it up, there is a sifter right here. And then I will swatch this shade out for you. This is the shade, like I said, Love Poem right here. So it does have a little bit more warmth to it. And you can tell that there is quite a bit of luminosity to it. There's no glitter in it or anything like that, but it's a really pretty glowy blush. And like I, and you will have this for the rest of your life. There's so much product in here uh, and you need like the tiniest bit. This stuff is pretty pigmented and you really don't need a lot at all. 
So what I have been doing is I'll kind of tap like a little bit into the cap and swirl a very big fluffy blush brush into it and then use it. And um, it can still go overboard pretty quickly. So the packaging closes nicely. It feels secure. Um, this does retail for $30. I don't think that's bad. Like I said, if you're going to use this as your main blush. When I got this, I figured I could use it as a blush topper, but it's too pigmented to use as a blush topper. Um, it deposits quite a bit of color. So um, it's really like you can't really layer this on top of other products because you're going to get a pretty intense result. Um, but overall, I like this product. I think it's unique. I like that it's a loose blush. You don't really see a lot of loose blush formulas. And I like that it's a luminous blush, so you can kind of mix and match with the collection of the palette and then the luminous blushes. The next thing I got was the Cream, cream to Powder Blush Stick. This came in the shade Royal Flush, which I don't think I would have purchased if I had not gotten this bundle. Looking back, I should have just chosen my shades individually. But if you've ever been on Jaclyn Cosmetics website for a launch, it's kind of a free-for-all. Um, it's very difficult to get things before they sell out. So I was just kind of panicking. I'm like, I just would like buy the bundle. So the problem with this is that it's too pigmented. Like that's just one swipe. It's, it's far too pigmented. Um, it's almost unusable. Even when you blend it out, it's wild. It's wildly pigmented. I don't know why she didn't put this like type of pigment in the powders and then have this be a little bit more like sheer and dewy. But even blend it out, I mean, there's not a lot you're gonna do to soften this. I wore this the other day and I kind of just put one dot on each cheek and blended it out with a sponge. And that was okay. Um, it was still pretty intense. And it does blend out to a more powdery finish. You can kind of feel there's really no um, dewiness to this at all or luminosity. It does have a pretty matte finish. But this will not budge. <laughs> it won't budge. But the problem is you need so little that I think this is going to expire far before I'll ever get a significant amount of use out of it. The other thing I noticed about this packaging is that it feels very cheap. Um, this feels very lightweight and chintzy. Um, I wonder, it makes me wonder if this product was an afterthought in the collection, that they really put all of their time, energy, and money into like the other products. And this one, they're like, oh, let's just toss this in there. It's very, very lightweight packaging. It just feels not very good. Um, I haven't tried this as a lip color yet. It's not advertised that you can wear on your lips, but I think with the amount of pigment, you probably could. Um, this is made in Italy. The luminous blushes are made in the USA, and I believe the palette is as well. Yep, made in the USA. So usually with her products that she's made in Italy, they are really, really good quality, and the packaging is really substantial. This one I was just surprised. Like, it just feels very lightweight and, and very cheap. Um, you do get 0.25 ounces of product in here, or 7 grams. This is going to last you forever, especially with the, um, the little amount that you actually need. But the lasting power is really good. I think that um, if I had gone back, I would have purchased one of the lighter shades. This one is pretty deep for me. So maybe I'll go back and purchase that. Um, they do retail for $22. I think that's not a bad price because you barely need anything. Um, but, I mean, you have to kind of really like cream products. The Senses does blend out into more of a powder finish. It, you can really use it on all skin types, but I just prefer my blush sticks to be a little bit more on the dewy side. But overall, I don't think it's a bad product. I'm just kind of disappointed in the packaging, and I wish that I'd gotten a different shade that was a little more flattering to my skin type. The last thing that came in the bundle were two of her lip products. These are called the Lip Cushions. They came in the shades Sincerely Yours and Lip Lock. So I'm wearing the shades Sincerely Yours right now. They are really pretty. Um, they come in a wand packaging, and they have a coconut scent, which I thought was interesting. So they are, you know, as described, they are a more cushiony formula. They are not um, a formula that's going to dry down. It's not a liquid lipstick. It's more, if you've ever tried, like, the Too Faced, peach kind of lipsticks, um, the ones with the puffy tip on them. They're just like that. Um, they are very comfortable, but they are not super long wearing. So if I were to go out, I would definitely take this with me, um, and I would know that I have to touch it up. They are comfortable. When you push your lips together, you can kind of feel like a squishiness to them. Um, this is the shade 
This is the shade Sincerely Yours over here, and this is the shade Lip Lock. I think they're nice. Um, the packaging feels nice. It's, it's got some weight to it. Um, and it's got like her you know, logo kind of embossed in gold here. Um, I like them. I like that the packaging shows you what color they are. So when I'm reaching for them, I know what I'm getting. This, um, this color in particular looks a lot more peachy in the tube, a lot more nude on the lips, and then deeper on my skin in the swatch. But overall, I like this color a lot. I think that's a really good everyday color for me. And they are really comfortable, so I think that I think I'm, I'm happy with them. Um, they are $18 a piece. I think that is wildly expensive. Um, I do like the formula, and I like the wear on them, but $18 for a peachy lipstick I think is just outrageous. Um, I did purchase one of her uh, liquid lipsticks. They're going to come in the mail Saturday, which is three days from now. So I am going to try that out. But I just think her lip products are really, really pricey, and I don't know why. Um, I refuse to purchase her lip liners because they're, I think they're around $18 a piece. That's a lot. That's a lot for a lip product. I think that, you know, you can get, really, like, they're giving away Kylie lip kits now at Ulta. If you purchase, like, anything, you get a Kylie lip kit. So I think there are, there are other products on the market that are cheaper that are going to give you the same exact result. I think $18 is is a little bit outrageous. The rest of the products are priced kind of accordingly to me. I think that they're okay. Um, but $18, that's a lot. So I do like them. Um, I'm happy that I have them. I'm happy that I have the shades that I did, uh, that I have the shades that I have. Um, keep in mind, I didn't choose these. They came in that bundle. So going back, I would probably um, purchase a lighter shade of the blush stick. But I'm happy with the shades of the other products that I have. I'm not super thrilled with the shade of the luminous blush, but it's okay. It's definitely fine. It works for my skin. I just, I just should have gotten something a little more neutral and not rushed to get the bundle just for fear of selling out. You know. So those are the products that I purchased in the collection. Let me know if you guys want any more detailed reviews on any products in particular. Let me know if you bought these. It's kind of a yeah. uh, dog eat dog world out there when she has a product release. Um, and my my local Ulta does not carry her products, so I can't really go in store and check them out before I buy them. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.